Hello, this is not a spring chicken. We are out here at the beach. Can you believe it? I know. But I would say that any day that you could go to the beach. Yes, and it's January like this. Okay, so we're doing it a little bit different today because we're lucky enough to be out at the beach. But the biggest news, of course, is the Iowa caucus. And Romney, who is approved by the Republican Party leader, says Iowa by eight votes after a two-hour discussion by the GOP. Well, they were trying to discuss how many votes they wanted him to win by to make it look really close. And the problem was he still couldn't get above 25 percent. The party, the people do not want this man. They, the Republican leadership will... He's the most likely to be able to beat Obama, so we want him. And he's also one of us, so he won't stop spending. So, I mean, it's just, it is so pretty obvious what's going on. Okay, sometimes they're overthinking. Well, but, but even, you know, let's put somebody in there that actually people might want to vote. Well, I heard Mike Huckleby talk, and he said the reason why that nobody wants any of these candidates that are in the Republican Party because there's not a single one of them talking about what the people want. That's right. They're all talking about what the uh, the party leadership wants. Well, so. And here's the pity on that, is that it should be a shoe-in for the Republicans. I know. Any unnamed Republican could probably beat any of the Republicans on the ballot. That's right. They said anybody that's not running, anyone can beat Obama. Anyone. Hey, the Monty Bubbles. Monty President. Bubbles can win. We may start a campaign because... We do have a birth certificate that we can show for Monty Bubbles. <laughs> and Michelle Bachman will suspend her campaign. Yeah, because she uh, she had no chance because the same people that basically ordained Romney do not want a, a woman as their nominee, even though the woman can possibly win. So. She could have. Well, the problem is she sits on the wrong side of the leadership, meaning she wants to stop the bloody spending. So. Yeah. But, New York City Mayor says work on 9-11 museum has stalled. Uh, no money. They're I not thought they were finished with that already. No, they have to have money. They don't have the money. There's no public money for anything anymore. And Carter's advice to Obama, don't alienate voters. So he basically held a thing last night, came to, uh, did an address in Iowa to walk on to Republicans, and then goes to Cleveland, on Cleveland today, announcing that he's making a recess appointment of a guy that believes in the dis total destruction of our economy. So, I mean, and that's called walking on the voters, folks. He's alienating everybody, but uh, he's got, he, wants, uh, uh, he wants the pure left, a percentage of the Latino vote, a percentage of the, um, the Afro-American vote, and he wins the election no matter what, and he knows it. And Vermont reopened the last highway destroyed by Irene. Yeah, I, I would have thought that they would have done I, that I, a long I, time ago. Okay. Um, scholars want help. Uh, maybe that's why it's in the news. It was done a long time ago. Yeah. And scholars want help identifying slaves of origin. I know. You know, that isn't going to... Okay. Basically, it, the government is basically wasting money. It's another government grant to find out something that's an impossibility because they were slaves. It means they were put on board ships. And they're brought from, I mean, okay, were they in Uulan, Abakalan, Jankalan, you know, uh, you know, which lawn were they from? There's no way of telling because they were all brought from, uh, bought. Oh, they, they brought them all to one point and then. And they came from yeah. everywhere, in the, everywhere in Africa they came from, so. And Israel and Palestinians meet Tuesday in Prospect KZ. Well, because it's not likely they're going to reach any consideration because they know the President of the United States is anti-Semitic and anti-Jewish state, so... And he has to be a supporter of it. And Syria bloodshed defies Arab monitor mission. Because the Arabs aren't going to stop it, because they, 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 the uh, Syrians are the second strongest Arab nation in the area, so you've got to tell them where they got to be. You know, it's a military dictatorship. The majority of the people are perfectly happy with the fact that they can do virtually anything they want other than a few people that want democracy. The democracy move is being crushed. That's what happens in dictatorships. And Romney's chief Iowa rival press electability. Actually, they know they press electability, and it didn't make any difference to the Republican leadership. Republican leadership polls say that now, and okay, nominating someone that can beat Obama is more important than nominating someone that can fix the economy. Isn't that amazing? They don't care damn about the economy. I know, that's pathetic. I know. Well, 
maybe they think it'll take care of itself as long as they get them out. No, because Obama, I mean, Romney is a big spender. Obama, Obama and Romney are the same, no matter, just... It's just Obama of a different color. Isn't that what different, they keep saying? Different, um, what do you want to They say it? that Obama, different. Romney, they have already told him, he's not going to get the Ron Paul voters. That's a, that's a gimme. That's 25% of the party. He's not going to get the Tea Party, which is 30% of the party. He cannot, and he's not going to get the independents. So who the hell is going to elect him? He's looking at 25% of the vote, maybe. Yeah. So it's hard to win an election. Well, that's why Obama figures 30 to 33% will win him this election. That, that because the independent, there's going to be an independent candidate, and there's going to be a libertarian candidate. And they, for the first time ever, they're going to get a large percentage of the vote. And Iran sentences former president's daughter to jail. Isn't that amazing? Um, well, but, uh, I know it, former president. Yeah, and uh, it means there's a big power thing going on in Iran, and uh, one side is basically clearing out the other side. I mean, like, it makes no sense. The Iranians would dare not strike at an American aircraft carrier in the Gulf. Yeah, they would, because they know the United. They know Obama can't do anything if he does. They'll shut off all the oil to the United States, and if it gets shut off before the election, Obama is okay. But put it this way: no matter what the Iranians do, Obama is really going to be screwed by it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, and they lay in their hands. Yeah. And the Mayan calendar predicts doomsday in 2012. Yeah, it, that, that's the, no. And I, well, I keep hearing. I heard one guy. I heard actually. There's a party about it. Too. Yeah, basically put up the fact. You got to remember, 2012 is the year that Obama gets re-election. A re-elected Obama will destroy the economy of the world. Oh. Well, I thought it had already started. Yeah. Long-time Turner Sports broadcaster Jim Huber died. Well, he's not a long time. He's only been there for nine years, folks. That's not a long-time sports broadcaster. You know, he died of a heart attack because he was too fat and didn't work out any. I know. Do you notice that the sports broadcasters tend to be heavier? Yeah, they all get heavier. Well, I mean, yeah, they all get heavier. I mean, I'm watching... Uh, reruns of Gunsmoke, which I was on quite a lot, uh, and um, you see the very trim, younger James Arness, and then two years later, you see a James Arness who, when he gets on the horse, the horse goes, ah! So, <laughs> That's funny, you see the horse going, ah! Yeah. And soldier from North Carolina may have flown with explosives. Oh, it happens all the time. Okay, I got on a plane a few years ago, nobody stopped me, I didn't even, no, I didn't even pay any attention to the fact I had a, a big Swiss Army knife stuck on my belt. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a no-no to bring on a plane. Didn't sound, you know, I went through, didn't make any set noise go off. And they could see the thing sitting on my belt. I walked by security, I walked by everybody, and then I come back out, and, you know, I get off the airplane, leave, and then I get in the car, and my it hits on the side of the car seat when I get off. Oh, God, you know. And Iran threat show sanctions starting to bite. No, they're not. I mean, Obama keeps putting that point out. Uh, if it did, they would basically be causing more trouble than they are. And a U.S. Supreme Court asked to ponder drug dog sniff. Okay, uh, how do you know the dog is completely accurate? What if the dog is picking on people for other reasons, like they got food and the dog happens to be hungry? So the dog is not, he doesn't have the same certain ability as a human being has, so. That's true. Drugs, but also because of the food they eat. Yeah, and you know what? If you and also basically anything that has a drug content in it, they might come up with. So what if you're using something like oh, you a, have a cold and you have a cough medicine? You have a cough medicine, they pick you up on it. Well, in California, you don't have to worry about that now because as of first of January, you have to have a prescription to get ordinary cough medicine. Are you serious? Which means it won't be sold anymore over the counter. So. Uh, and police release security video on L.A. car fire case. Yeah, well, they should have a lot of security video. It can't be one person. It's got to be dozens of people. So. Yeah. Anna Monty Bubble is a from Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, uh okay. Uh, this one's a good one. When you think of the uh, Romney win, let's put it this way: coincidence only happens in bad movies. <laughs> <laughs>